Ska vi ska slå upp sig. 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 Up six, up six. Up six. Det var det var det var det var det var det det var det var det var det var det var det var det det var 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 det Going out of groups is something we haven't ever tried before, I think. <laughs> I think we only tried like maybe once or something, but this, not with this lineup for instance, and we haven't done it in two years, I think. So it's very, it's very weird for us, because we're usually, we usually go out on the last day or the day before. So right now when you're out in groups, you're like, there's still like three tournament days left, and you're like, what's going on? We're not used to it, it's, it's really weird. Um, but I guess a lot of other people have tried it many, many times. Um, but I'm just happy that we've never been in a situation where we have to go out in groups because it's, uh, in some ways, a little bit humiliating. Så når vi ikke gider flere events, så har vi lige fået et vej til at se for. Nej, nu skal vi skære på Chris. Der er fire, du skal se 5 mand på en lidt. Høst. Fucking lort. It's gonna be 15 degrees by the end of the by the end of the week, but it doesn't really feel like that right now. <laughs> yeah. Saturday when we get here, we shouldn't be even be wearing coats. So we're gonna do what we always do at events. We're gonna slither our way in from some behind the scenes entrance and hopefully get access to the players. The plan today is they have to participate in the media day um, to get photos, videos done, and then I think they're going back to the hotel to watch demos and sort of see if they can anti-strike some of the competition. They know which teams they're in the group with. Um, and I think they specifically are trying to prepare for India's. Jeg kan sidde her og bare spise de der brød. Okay, hvad fuck, yes, man. Seriøst, bare forestil dig, at Hansen bare kom med god nu, sådan der. Hvad er det gode, kan du ikke sige, at han var? Snoops. Så er hun out, times. Fucking mower fra Finn Nemo. Mi? 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 Bare helt vejen rundt. Mi? 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 Der er sådan en kvart af det. Okay. Yes. No, I don't. No, you don't. Yes. I decided. But you can remove the audio, that's fine. Alright. You got a new kid? What the fuck? Who do you get that from? Super Vibes. 
Yeah, yeah I'm sitting here watching a documentary about uh, the Second World War. You know, it's uh, it's very important to be, um, you know, to also study the what has happened in the past and stuff. No, I just I'm I'm into that stuff, so that's why I'm watching that. Fucking geek. Yeah, probably. Hitler's empire. Hitler's was empire. Was about to fall. Just because I'm not being your number one friend today, Peter, doesn't mean I'm now. So you're not my number one friend? Not today, no. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Because, because this time we're actually working, that means you are actually my boss. Yeah, I'm actually working right now, yeah. That's why. You're, so, you're, you're a distraction. So when we go to the hotel, you'll be my friend. I'm, I'm everyone's friend. But I'm also your, you know, I'm also in charge of you. Yeah. And I'm also trying to concentrate really hard <laughs> on building the spreadsheet. Have fun. The reason why we came to make our own organization was like TSM didn't want to pay our manager's salary anymore. So basically we just hired him as a player agent for us and bring him to our tournament and paying for him ourselves with our money from TSM. He was our manager and he could just speak for us but we were not able to negotiate with any organizations. And then we just had random thought in, in the summer, what about doing our own things? Because in the end I feel like organizations always taking more things that you actually know of. They have someone sponsored deals, you have no transparency. You actually don't know your worth as a player in an organization. You, do, you don't know the worth of a contract you have. And all contracts, in my opinion, have been one-sided uh, all the time. And I think that what needs to change that actually player has more um, first of credibility and, and more respect in organizations. You put so much time in, you put so much time to brand your, your organization, but you, don't, you can't brand yourself because you need to brand specific gears, all that kind of stuff. Even though you don't want to, they pay your salary and you say, okay, let's do it. Now we have discussions and we can decide ourselves what we want. If we want to go to, out, uh, to a signing session, it's because we want to do it. If we want to do a promotion video, it's because we want to do it. We're not forced to do anything we don't want to. Uh, and I think that's very, very um, good because when we do stuff, we come in with love and all the motivation to do it. Apex and Happy are going to get two kills, though. So that brings it back to a three on three. And the backstab on a device who's just staring into electric, but there's Cajun with the backstab, and he's gonna be able to drop that bomb. So this is winnable for Cajun. They don't have any grenades to really force him out. Happy's low, and Cajun has a Molotov as well. If he spots out uh, Keo here, and he will and just straight take the shot. Match point for them. This is a best one in the groups. Device gonna miss a shot, but somehow he's still alive. Finally, the fire gonna catch him. Sip from the high ground comes through. Kenny missing a shot, trying with the pistol, but the bomb is right at his feet, and he can't get this defuse through. Sip is playing this very well, and he's trying to stick it, but it's gonna be Astralis. 16 to 11. Look at this from BP. They're forcing it up, but they're running into the meat grinder. That is Sipnix. Another headshot comes through. That's a triple, and that's a one round for Astralis. It is going to be that split onto B again. Sipnix, it's time to dance. Harrigan's going to get overwhelmed, and now Sipnix holding the line. He's going to pick up two, make it three, perhaps. He's getting flanked, and he gets the third headshot. Look at Device picking out, and he probably will spot one coming through CT. What a shot there onto Rain. He will double up there onto Jacob. Team in there allows him to get a second, but as Carrigan swoops onto A, all of a sudden four Terrace frags go down. There are an infinite number of angles, and Carrigan only needs one. He pops out as soon as the bombs tap. Will be Astralis picking this one up 16 to 5. Like Dupree in the sandwich though, he's in a really nice spot to be able to find one. They actually haven't checked that, he's flashed out but manages to find a kill through the flash. And he's going to get a second one as well, hasn't been punished for it just yet either. He's still alive, finding a third and a fourth! That is crazy work there from Dupree. As he goes down at the hands of the boss, he's 
counterpart with the orb. That bomb will now get planted. It is oh, a three on three situation. Device doing a great job. Whilst he's taking so much damage, he is finding these frags at the moment. Device, we said he needs to step up. He's in a one versus one. You can see Phelps pushing the time. Device misses that shot, but there's not enough time for the pop. In the start of the year we had many problems and going into Katowice we tried to fix so many. We, we brought Sonic on board uh, for helping us with communication, all that small kind of fixes because we were never happy with top 3, top 4 placements. We are so close every time but yet so far. It's the same problems over and over. So we came into the tournament starting out with three hard matches against uh, Envy, VP and FaZe and we got up to a a great start and just kept on rolling that day and and when we keep on rolling we are a very very difficult team to beat and doing 5-0 in the group stage just gave so much confidence perfect but it was too close in the end being up 13-2 and then going 16-12 it's a little bit too close but they played really well <laughs> Like, that's how it usually is, like when there's a team you play and you, first of all, you go up 13-2 and then you end up like, oh, this was, was actually easier than you actually expected. And then you're like, ah, whatever, we lost to Pizzeron, ah, you lose the first Byron, ah, then you all of a sudden you find yourself behind, oh, almost like they're closing and you're like, hmm, what the, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Like, that's what happened. Yes. Du 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 Så er der bare stille hele to søger. Så er der bare stille hele to søger. Så er der bare stille hele to søger. Åh ja, hakker mukker, hakker mukker, hakker mukker. Ja, ja. Hakker mukker, hakker mukker, hakker mukker, hakker mukker, hakker mukker, hakker mukker. Men vi er nødt til at stoppe efter fire, for ellers går det for lang tid, du kan ikke... Hakker mukker, hakker mukker, hakker mukker, hak. Hakker mukker, hvor står vi bare? Okay, siger vi hak også der? Hvorfor siger vi hak? Det er derfor, der er en, der får godt. Hak, hak. Så var det fire. Welcome to the Toshi Masters World Championship! One of the things I was very sad about is that we didn't get to play in front of the audience. Um, I was very, very disappointed in that uh, because one of the things I looked forward to one year before was to play in that Spodek Arena. And that is why I play Counter-Strike, is to play in front of big crowds. Um, so it hurts every time I don't get to do that. And, and when I finally thought, yes, I'm in the semi-final, yes, I'm playing Fnatic, this is going to be a 
legendary match. Um, there was no spectators. No, this is like, like love handles, you know? Did you ride it? Yeah. I get it. it has like a, it has like legs, you know? He like, ride it then like, and like, like tip back and forth. Yeah, his leg is kind of broken, right? I know, but Actually, both of them. You, you do like this. Both of them are pretty. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's just, it has to go straight. It can stand. Um, are you intending to put that on your. No, it's going gonna, gonna to stand somewhere on the stage. Shoot! To the sun! We need to uh, know what they're doing, but if you play like yesterday, then it'll be a good match. They all the time play on skill, so you need if you play Fnatic, you need to play way game. If you don't, you get wrecked. Just like VP did today, they had no chance basically. I think we're playing strategically better than them, so. But it doesn't always come down to the uh, right approach. It's through sitting the shots, just like in football. You have the right approach, right formation, but if you don't have the star players that can deliver, then uh, it's a problem. Oh, you've seen some new boost over there. Okay, Maddox, that's the old one. That's the old one. That's the old one. I had them. I've seen them for a minute. Guys, we're not a use. Go that way. Well, you guys go that way. No, we didn't. But you guys had it, right? Maybe. Yeah, because uh, we heard that Navi and uh, Astralis had like good boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why would they show it now? Because they're in overtime. Because they're idiots. So I know kind of overtime. What? To zero? No. is low but the rest are doing the damage and there's Dupree doing what he can do as much as he can there's three kills back to back but it's Olof Meister now in a 1v2 and I don't see a way he can bring this to two individual 1v1s no Astralis is playing so well and actually the timing just as he goes to plant the bomb now he's gonna go for the no scope because he can't commit too much there oh he goes God. he gets the first one now he has to plant this bomb here actually he pulls the fake the mind games oh! and he wins it of course he does it's Olof Meister and the Fnatic, I have to say, in full control. We'll see if Astralis can find a way back into it. Five to ten is the score on the half. You said they had to get there if they fancied a chance. If they fancied anything, a small chance going into the second half. There's Krebs. He peeks. He grabs one. Zip mixes out into the bomb site. Through the smoke, finds JW. That forces the defense back. And now it's just getting slaughtered so quickly. Astralis wiped the map clean of Fnatic. This is all of a sudden, this comeback has become, is here, and you're actually seeing a pause out of Olaf here Meister calling for that tactical timeout. Well, now Carrigan has to save the day here. 1v2. Great work towards JW now, 1v1. Yeah, sick control at the tapping. That nade gives up the position of Olaf Meister, and Carrigan's going to swing out wide. Is he prepared for it? He takes no! oh, He does win it. Finally got the Astralis we were waiting for. Device all alone in the bomb site. And he holds strong, he gets the first kill and keeps spraying. Crims walks into it. A big response from Astralis. Now they can do too much damage. They're a very talented team, bearing in mind. And actually, they made it in perfectly. They don't even go for the fight towards Device, they take it towards Dupree. But they still good adjustment and good shooting from Cajun B there. Just keeps them well at bay. Device spots one, misses it. Crims comes in, flushes there, and now Zipnik's with it all on his shoulders. Or it's going to be Fnatic through to those finals.
Fucking time I did so I, then I ah oh, now that I have eco I'm gonna fucking rip more than that I give one deke so I was like yeah okay fine yeah why not <laughs> then we were two guys at a pub and yeah I'm gonna die yeah fuck off. Elf from Saint. It's the time. It's really late. Yeah, we saw famous machine heavy memories. So fucking. That's my bad Uzi back. I said yeah, eco frags. Lash, for I was in one team with that. Yes, super mate. Take up a league confidence in the fire. I go green out of that. So, two of them are Two of them are Oh, mate. I even did hold. They hold. They are fucking hard. Have you? Peter, you're trying to work your place. Yeah, you got a problem. That's a good thing. Vanessa. Fuck! One of the good sides having your own thing. You can create your own family. I have never felt more home in an organization than I do now and I've been in very, very many organizations now and this is the best family I ever had. Hey, I love it. Come here. I'm Tilda. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's like that. No, it's like that. We win a major. 